There are mouths to feed, there are businesses to grow, and there is a better world for us all to be building. And this is what I want to talk to you guys about tonight. And brainstorming, I think, has a vital role in this. In 2005, I met a mentor, Jonathan Flaum. And Jonathan Flaum, in his book, How the Paper Fish Learned to Swim, inspired me to do hundreds of sessions, inspired me to come here tonight and talk about brainstorming, talking about the, the introduction to you. And I think you can all take this away. Okay. Sorry. Well, they, they lowered it, and then they, they raised it. Okay, so the connections, the synopses in our head as we grow, um, the, the, I'm going to dive right in. Okay, so brainstorming. Okay, so uh, your, your brainstorming um, is a series of, first of all, having a cause, having an organization, bringing people together around that, experts in the field, and setting the context. Now, for the context... It helps, I think, to have all Macintosh equipment. Uh, just kidding. Okay, now this is the fun part. So day of, you have everyone there, and we are going to be getting into this, okay? So we are brainstorming now, all right? So, so this is a group of people, and you're generating ideas, you're generating connections, you're generating people that are advocates, people that could go out there and probably do this brainstorming for you. And I'm, I'm extremely passionate about this, and I've seen this work in such a way where you're leaving with these incredible ideas. So what is the first step? Okay, to be organized, you have to come prepared. So you're not coming to this event and then doing the organization. You're doing it before. So you need a, 30 minutes before, you need to meet with the facilitators. And these facilitators, as Ed Land said, uh, 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 um, being polite is not the right way to collaborate. You need to be rude. You need an iron hand. You need to move things forward. Okay, so secondly, you need to be able to shift modes. So we need to be able to go from everyone together, everyone generating ideas, everyone to autonomous mind. We need to be able to pass the ideas around. We need to be able to have people giving ideas rapid fire. We need to be able to have breakout sessions. We need to be able to have a brainstorming event where we're changing modes. And this is, in, in the 1930s, they came up with brainstorming, and there's been a lot of criticism about brainstorming, and it's because people do not shift modes in the past. This is modern. We can use new technology. We can create ideas, and by shifting modes adaptively in certain, uh, certain terrain and certain environments, then we can actually be able to find those ideas. So using collaborative tools, this is... Google Docs, so when we're doing the breakout session, in real time, while everyone is in the breakout se session talking about these objectives, everyone could be putting in the information, delineating them, assigning them, saying, these are our connections. These are the people that I would like you to connect with. So you're leaving with this organized data. So it's a back channel. So with the technology, this is what I'm especially excited about. It gets a lot geekier than that, but I'm not going to go into that. Follow-up. This is key. So you have a whole bunch of people that are now motivated and interested in your concept and your cause and your nonprofit and your community event. So how do you follow up? Now, this is especially important because these people can go out and be your advocates. They could go out and literally do sessions, creative sessions and brainstorming and spread the word. So this is especially important to me that you're able to follow up and get back to them about the feedback on this. So what are the four things? Be organized. Come prepared. You don't have to do the work there. Let it go from there. Shift modes. This is a way to generate ideas. This is a way to be adaptive and to be able to do breakout sessions, autonomous mind, meditation, tap into the super consciousness, get the ideas flowing. Use collaborative tools. This is the future. This is why this actually works now. So you can actually use collaborative tools to allow people to be at the same time adding information and back channels. So what is the future of this? Now, I see we have 10 people, and we have 10 times harnessing 10 times the brain power. And I see this by thousands and all around the world. So this is what the brainstorming. And I would like to see everywhere in Asheville, I can be able to contribute to a brainstorming session, hundreds of places. And that is my talk. So thank you very much. <laughs>